Well, while so many are mourning the Queen from thousands of miles away, a St. Louis woman was in London when the news unfolded. New tonight, Five on Your Side is Mercedes McKay spoke with her about her experience being there. Mercedes. Brent, Hannah Cologne actually just returned home this morning. She told me witnessing what she did still feels surreal. Now, what started off as a spontaneous one day trip in London with her friend turned into a moment that will go down in history forever. I can't believe I was there at all for that day. For Hannah Cologne, the shock still isn't worn off. It was just a lot to take in. While she sat in the London Tea Room in Tower Grove on Saturday, she recalls every detail of what she experienced just two days ago. It was definitely surreal. It was a blessing to see it and also a really sad moment to be there for that part of history. Cologne's friend, who's a flight attendant, asked if she wanted to tag along with him to London. It was Cologne's first time to England and they only had one day there. Turns out that one day was a pretty impactful one. We met some friends for high tea, and while we were at high tea, they announced that the queen had passed. Cologne and their friends joined the thousands of people in front of Buckingham Palace, where flower after flower was placed on the gates. Obviously, this is the Queen of England, but it was a, a world thing. The whole world was mourning her death, so you could see tons of people from all over were there. Even though not everyone spoke the same language, Cologne says the crowd came together in song. singing Amazing Grace to remember a queen who reigned for 70 years. It was more just everybody was in thought and then just trying to absorb what happened. Some even climbing onto the Queen Victoria Memorial in front of the palace to get a better view. Everybody was just in shock. So a lot of people that climbed up there were just sitting and crying and watching. While it's a memory Cologne will always have, she wanted to make sure her children had a piece of it too. I even sent my kids postcards on purpose, um, postcards of her face so they could have a moment of that history too from England. Her sons even writing their own condolences in a book for the Queen that the London Tea Room has on their counter. Yes, now I know that she is right now in heaven with God. While she's back in the States, Cologne says the events of September 8th. This is something I will never forget. Will always hold a special place. Now, while Cologne was in front of the palace, she said it was obvious the whole world loved Queen Elizabeth. She said a lot of people around her talked about what a great person she was and her impact on so many lives.